Hello everyone, my name is Rityan and I'm from Campion School in 8th Standard and this is my certification course for WIS Juniors on the topic of Scratch. So as you guys can see, uh, I have made a maze game as the certification course states to create your own game in Scratch. So for the first part is adding backdrop. So I made this backdrop, uh, that backdrop right over there you can see on the extreme side. Uh, that one, you can see that one or that background, uh, that is, uh, basically that is supposed to resemble the stomach of the scratch character and how the scratch character, uh, and in this case the cat is, has turned into a flea and is trying to get the apple to progress through the stages and basically uh, so there's a timer of forty five of forty five seconds, and uh, there's a s and basically it counts your score, and the high score updates once you finished your run. Till now my high score is six. So as you all can see right over here, or you can see when when the flag button is clicked, or it sets the score to zero and it sets the time to zero, but it leaves the high score so that the high score can be counted or then it sets the player size to 5% so that it looks like a flea then it goes to the starting point which is 11 x and negative 170 y so as you can see the this this block is from this block is from uh, events this block is from data this block is from uh, looks this block is from motion this block is from operators and this block is from control or uh, sorry this block is from data and this block is from control so when up is pressed it changes its it goes to the next costume as this cat has one normal and one walking costume so uh, it changes its y by two which means it goes up by two and then if it's touching the blue thing even if you press up it won't move and it'll go back down by two so that it can't go through the wall so that's how i've programmed for all of them and then the way i've programmed it to touch the apple to win is set time to zero change then change the score by one which means increase it by one and then say that it wins and then it goes back to the starting position and then it uh, broadcasts the command which is next maze so as you can see when this is clicked and when it receives or uh, when that is clicked it switches back to the first costume as it has um eight costumes right over here which are the eight levels and um anyways uh the rest of it and also uh, when it receives uh, the broadcast of next maze it changes to its next maze and it also stays at the same position so it doesn't move the maze in between them. so the next command which is right over here or that is when the flag is clicked it will continuously increase the time by one until it gets reset as you win a stage as you can see right below me uh, okay so the next part to this project is when the green flag is clicked it will run one command forever which is it senses time every every it senses time all the time and if it reaches more than 45 it checks if you reached a high score so if your score is greater than the high score it sets it to the high score and it says new high score and then it stops it because you've lost or else it says that you lose and it just stops it so without further ado let's try this game once so I'm going to click the, I am going to click the green flag now. And as you can see, I'm the tiny flea, uh, right around there somewhere. Yeah, so I'm the tiny flea and I have to reach till the apple, uh, within this time limit which we have. So as you can see, it's a little bit challenging, but you'll get the hang of it eventually. And I'm going to show it to you all by completing all eight stages. And you can keep going past the 8th stage, it just starts, it just starts putting a random map. 
or so it just starts putting random maps after you win eight times so you can keep going uh and yes and uh the first stage is a little bit hard but once you get the hang of it it gets quite easy so as you can see i completed that in 43 seconds and since i completed that now i'm going to show you what happens to you when you lose so i'll go down the wrong path So once so 30 seconds are over and now I'm actually gonna try and reach the finish but if I can't you all will get to see uh you all will get to see the losing screen. And I managed to make it in time. As you can see it can't leave and when it tries to go there it moves it by two but also moves back because it's touching blue. So anyways, I'll just let it lose on this stage by going down the wrong path to show you all the actual uh, what the losing animation does. If you're having trouble, you can always just hide the time and, and score and high score. And as you can see, I lost. And even if I try to break, and even if you would try to go to the apple and restart, I would still end it after two seconds. But as you can see, this was my project. So this is the end of my certification course. As you can see, I have used motion over here. I have used looks over here. I have used sound over here, it plays the sound meow when you win. Uh, I have used events, uh, which is the when the flag is clicked. I have used control, which is uh, these forever and if. I have used pen. Uh, I have used pen as uh, the moment you set a new high score, it stamps with it stamps where you were at the end of your run and uh, and then it clears at the start again uh, I have also used sensing as it senses uh, I have also used sensing as it senses with which arrow key is pressed and uh, if it's touching a color or not I have also used data for this in the form of variables so I'd like to thank Ms. Junius for giving me this opportunity and this is the end of my certification course Thank you and goodbye.